My class just finished their lame superhero assignment, which is a, a major project in the digital entertainment technology degree program here, where they do a full character development, give the character a personality, uh, full bio, how they got their lame power, and then a Photoshop drawing of what the super character or superhero looks like. So for this next assignment they have to animate that character and we're going to use the Adobe Animate software to do that project. I'd like to do a quick tutorial here on how to do animate and for this very first one I'm going to do it in the style of the Asdif movie. Um, I've always liked Tom's work and uh, ever since the band commercials so this is going to be inspired by the Asdif movie and done in that style. We're just going to do a quick simple demonstration to help people get started using the Adobe Animate software. So to get started open up Adobe Animate and click on your create new and again there's tons of tutorials on this uh, really great stuff from Adobe on how to get started with this so please you know use that material to to go well beyond what I'm going to demonstrate today but as again as I said this is going to be based upon the ASDIF model so we're going to start with the full HD because we want to be able to post this to YouTube when we're done so go with the 1920 by 1080 file size uh, frame rate of 30 is great that's fine and your platform can be action script 3.0 that won't hurt you a bit so click on create then you'll get your window now it'll start out wanting to do the full thing that's going to be too big to see your entire scene um, you've got a picture doing 2d animation as if you are working with a camera the white area currently is my screen that is that's my scene area anything that is put into this area is going to be shown inside the environment. We've got our timeline at the bottom, um, typical layers that you're used to seeing in Photoshop or Premiere Pro or any of those tools like that. So I'm going to go in here and start labeling my layers. I'm going to ha have four layers total. I'm going to have a body. Um, let's add eyes and a mouth and I'm also going to have I guess I'm going to have five layers uh, the fifth, fourth layer is going to be the title and I need a layer for sound and alright so let's start getting our title up there uh, go to the text tool we've got over here on the side our properties got my text tool selected first of all we need to find a good font um, I like this Adobe I don't know Divengar uh, font that, that's a pretty good font but select the font that's gonna work for you um, I'm gonna go with that it'll be bolded uh, 50 point looks good to get started with we can always adjust it afterwards and this is going to be from the league of lame heroes uh, that's a little smaller than I want so we'll select that up the size a little bit there we go that looks a lot better uh, we need to change the color because right now it's white on white there we go League, there we go that's looking great um, let's add a second line again selecting the text tool and this time I don't want the 90 I'm gonna go back it off 56 looks good and this is gonna be the title of this hero um, let's call him face guy that should be significantly ominous for this project get it centered there and now we're ready to introduce face guy great um, oh let's do one more thing select my text here and scroll down here to a filter and add a drop shadow to the filter oh yeah that looks much better great 
Okay, now do notice I'm still on frame one for everything that I'm working on. It's great to get all of your basic stuff set up with the frame one bef before and all of your symbols created before you start adding a bunch of additional frames. At least that's how I like to work in the workflow. So let's get our the body of our character created. So I'm going to select the body layer and go over here to the oval tool and select um, I don't want to fill on this so I'm going to make it a clear fill. We'll leave it with a black stroke. That should work very well. If you hold down on the shift key it makes you, it gives you a true circle and of course you can adjust the, the width and style of the line all, all the normal things that you can do with line work. Uh, let's go ahead and add some body to this and again this is in the ASD of style so it's just going to be a rather plain and then let's do a free transform to give the body a little bit more shape there we go and now we've got a basic body isn't that lovely um, let's select the whole body now and we need to turn this into a symbol. So convert to symbol if, when you right click on it. That changes it from a rasterized image into a, uh, a symbolic, a symbol image that we can then do tweening and all kinds of great stuff to later. And we'll go ahead and label this as body. And now it is added to my library. And you can see there, it's, I've got body. It's a graphic image, so we're ready to go from there. Let's add some eyes. Going back to my oval tool, I'm going to change the the fill back to black, and this time I'm going to get rid of the stroke. And let's let's zoom in a little bit to add some eyes. And then once you've got the first eye created, I recommend copying and pasting the second eye so that they're the same size. Just makes it a little bit easier to get that done. Um, we need to select both eyes and change them into symbols so that again we can do tweening and all kinds of great stuff with that. So eyes, great. And now we're going to add a mouth. Go back here to our line tool out of mouth. Again, we want to give him a little bit of a smile or there we go. That looks great. Again, select the mouth and right click on it. Convert to symbol. And let's label that. Now our library should have three objects in it. Body, eyes, and mouth. So our character is created here. Zoom back out a little bit. Awesome. Now, l since I'm on frame one here, I want to put my character in their starting position. There's, you know, some people like to put their, if they're doing a lot of work, they like to create everything for the final position. Other people like to create things for the beginning position. You know, what's gonna, it, it depends on what the project is and what you're trying to do with the project. For this particular project, I'm just going to select everything, move it off to scene left of the scene, select it all, and you can use the arrow keys for working on this. Um, I like to use my Wacom tablet. I've got a nice Cintiq for doing this uh, to, to do a lot of this work. Okay, so we've got everything selected. It's now off the scene. Um, we can turn on the auto insert keyframe tool here, which makes life so much easier. Every time you make an adjustment, it's going to add a new keyframe. How many, how long do we want this to be? We already set it to 30 frames per second when we were doing this. So obviously 30 frames would be one second. That's not going to be nearly long enough. Um, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna make this, let's make this five seconds long which if, if this is finished in five seconds, we're gonna be doing great.
select one of the layers and then shift and oh, body and then I, I'm going to use control to select all of my different layers here out here at 150 right click on that and tell it to insert a keyframe and now we've got the everything created for all of the frames for the entire movie I'll zoom out a little bit on my time frame so that I can see everything I like for it to take up pretty close to my entire area when I'm working like this great now um, we've got so we've got face guys set up um, let's have him now theoretically if I had the, the time to do this I would make a great intro music and we've got all kinds of wonderful the League of Lame Heroes I won't sing for you again um, it, we've got you know a, a great intro that that's very reminiscent of the Justice League or the Avengers or something like that and, and really gets people's hearts pounding um, I want him to walk out onto the scene with and I'm only worried about his body eyes and the mouth so I'm going to just simply select those layers uh, the frames of those layers at, at 60 right click and insert the keyframe and we're ready to go so at 60 where do we want the character go to be probably about right there that that's interesting he's come into the scene and we, we could do a little bit of walking if we wanted to to, to make it you know an up and down motion on this so if I wanted to go in here it may be frame 20 and right click and add another insert keyframe helps if you get everything selected there we go so we got keyframes there for that uh, maybe 20 he's partially the way onto the screen And he, he maybe he's a little lower here, and then we could do an, another set a little further on, and insert keyframe, and just have him come up a little bit. Now you you've got an on, onion skinning tool here that's great for being able to do your see what's happening with your motions um, looks like I need to lift him up a little bit oh I've just got the mouth selected there select everything let's make him a little higher there so it looks like he's walking a little bit okay and that's looking good we can do a scrub oh I haven't added any tweening yet that'll help a lot of to that okay so there's three types of tweening and this one we're going to be using classic tweening so I'm going to right click on this tell it to create classic tween and then you can see the onion skinning as the guys coming into it going from blue to green in this particular one you can adjust how far your onion skinning with this to get a better idea of what's happening inside the scene and I'm going to create a t classic tween on all three layers there we go and we'll do this again over here Classic tween, there we are, and classic tween. Okay, so now let's reveal the superpower of this lame superhero. What is his lame power? Well, he's called Face Guy. And the reason why he is called Face Guy is Can leave his face behind yeah that that he's lame that that's a pretty lame power isn't it so we'll create a classic tween and he walks in and then walks out whoops we got something going wrong here oh I need to go back here to my last frame and get him off here on the right hand side there and that should give me my scrub yes 
And again, we should have some dramatic music playing here, um, but I haven't created the dramatic music for what we want to happen. Okay, so we've got our guy running here. We can play the animation. There he is. Yep, his face even moves a little bit. Isn't that great? Keeps going just a little bit there. Yeah, I like that. That's looking great. That's exactly what I wanted. So once we're done, we should, of course, be saving our project as we go along. So I'm going to save my league of lame heroes. And this is face guy. I may do a whole series of this if there's enough interest. So we'll save that. Now League of Lame Heroes Face Guy is saved for all time. We can go to File, then Export, Export Video and Media if you're wanting to create an MP4 on this so that we can upload it to YouTube and create your own animation channel. So Export Video and Media, that will take advantage of the media um, tools with the Adobe toolset. And this will output it to my desktop so we'll be able to see the movie. Click on export. It'll export it to the media exporter. The media exporter should launch here. Yep, there's media exporter. There it is compiling. All done because it's, you know, like really, really short. And it is now created. And there we go. There he is. That's pretty lame was the goal. Okay, so we've created a simple animation, added some great stuff to it. Again, I'd, I'd like to um, add some audio to this, make it more interesting, some walking sounds, maybe some screams as his face is just wandering around in the sky. But we've got a nice Asdif movie style-esque animation that shows off what we're able to do. Um, if there's enough interest, enough likes, I'll continue along this series and we'll do some more great and exciting things with this. Thanks.